to a three and one start, and uh, these two guys both gave you a big win tonight. What made the difference, do you feel, in the win over Cal Poly this week? Well, again, a really good team tonight. Uh, Cal Poly is an older team. Uh, we knew we were going to get probably one of their better games of the year. Uh, they're coming off two tough losses uh, at Nevada. Uh, a home game with Nevada that they you know, probably felt like they should have won. Played a really good Arizona team, toe-to-toe at their place, and played well. So we knew tonight that those guys, and they had some older guys over there on that side, they were going to play with some urgency, and they were going to be ready to play. Um, our guys did a great job um, stepping up to that challenge. We, we knew going into this game that we were going to really have to guard and defend, and uh, they, they did that for the better part of the game. Coach, I thought your team did a terrific job on the perimeter. You took Kyle Ottinger out of his game, and he was a frustrated player for Cal Poly. And he's a key guy for him. He's a senior, and uh, he's a guy that they rely on to make shots for them, kind of give them an, an outside threat. And uh, we did a great job of really uh, taking away any open looks for him, any airspace for him in terms of trying to get a clean look. I got, did a good job of swarming him and staying attacked. The rebounding total, one-sided score for it, though, Chad. I know you got a light up looking at that when you looked at it. You see the dogs get 45, and Cal Poly only had 28 rebounds. Cal rebounded by 17. The emphasis and the work on the glass is obviously paying off. Our guys are really uh, working hard at that. We spent a lot of time working with that in terms of really trying to hold our block out, especially with the big guys. Uh, I look here and I see Alex with four rebounds, and sometimes you think he may have had more, but he had a number of probably great block outs, and we're really asking our, guy, our guards to come down and rebound for us, and they're doing a great job of that. Tyler Johnson especially is coming down and cleaning up. I mean, Allen stepped down tonight and had seven rebounds himself, but I think that is a direct, again, correlation of our, our big guys doing their job in terms of holding their block outs and, and letting our guards come down and clean up. We're getting better. I mean, we, we, um, we, uh, we've made a conscious effort to really work hard on staying in stances, staying engaged off the ball, uh, staying engaged on the ball. Uh, and uh, our guys are working hard at that. They, they, uh, we're going to be able to score the ball this year. They're going to be some nice. And we still haven't really shot the ball like we're capable of shooting it, and we will at some point. But uh, as long as we continue to build our defense and, and continue to play hard and work hard in that regard, we'll have a chance to be right where we need to be. And uh, um, I think I saw somewhere the other day where – I think Pitt, you know, as, as, as much as they mauled us on the glass, we did do a great job defending those guys in terms of shooting. Yeah. Coach, uh, the two guys in the room are Alex Davis and Alan Huddleston, and those aren't the names we hear about daily here at Fresno State. There's more balance with the Bulldogs, and you can see it here in your line score. A number of players in double digits. You have to love the fact that different players are contributing. They're trusting their teammates, and we talked about that all year long in terms of trusting the system, trust your teammate. Uh, just be as happy as you can for if, if another guy's scoring the basketball is someone else. But, but basically just doing your job. And these guys are really bought into that. Alex, again, is just now just trying to catch, catch his stride a little bit from, from, uh, from having an injury and, and having some time away. But he's coming. He's coming. We saw it a couple of days ago, and we kind of said to him as well, hey, man, you're coming. It's coming, you know, and you're getting back to where you were prior to your injury. And Allen, again, has been consistent all year long in terms of his leadership and uh, he's really committed himself this year to, to, to being a really, not only a good team player, but also being a great teammate. And uh, he's done a great job both on and off the court. Coach, when you first took the job, one of the things you preached from the get-go was hustle, and you talked a lot about getting all the 50-50 balls. And I'm sure Alan's heard you talk about 50-50 balls a million times. Can you take tonight's game as an instructional video with the way he plays and how to get to those 50-50? I mean, he sold out. I mean, again, in terms of, uh, and that's what being a great teammate and uh, uh, having great team chemistry, which I think we have with this group right now. Allen sold out several times. He was on the floor. He was diving into the into the bench, and uh, those kind of plays are winning plays. They're winning basketball, and uh, uh, you know, to have a guy do that and sell out and, and understand the urgency of every possession, he's doing that at a very high level right now. Another thing you have always talked about is uh, possession by possession, and I thought your team was very patient offensively till they got the good look, the shot they wanted. We got better. I, I tell you what, we, uh, we, we, um, we, we face zone again, and I guess we're going to see a lot of zone this year. But, uh, again, anytime we see zone, we, we like to say that we want to light up like a Christmas tree because we got guys that can shoot the basketball. They can put pressure on the basket as well. Um, but, um, you know, we, we face a lot of zone tonight, and, 
you know, the things we're trying to do offensively, uh, spreading the floor, getting guys opportunities to drive the basketball and put pressure on the basketball, uh, on the basket rather, we, we're doing at a pretty good level right now, even with us not shooting the ball well. Um, yeah, I was having fun. Thanks to my teammates, but um, Coach has been preaching to me all week to just stay patient. And um, anybody that get hurt, you know, it takes time to get back. It takes time to get your flow back. So he just been preaching that to me all week, and I just been working at it, working at it, and working at it. Because at first when I got hurt, I was at an all-time high with my confidence, and it kind of just dropped when I hurt my knee. But uh, everything is getting back to normal, and and I like to thank my teammates because they trusted in me, and they just they trusted in me from the jump uh, from the start of the game. They just told me just come out aggressive. Don't think about nothing else, and we're going to need you tonight. And I just want to come through for my teammates. Alan, your mentality coming off the bench. Obviously, you want to come in there with energy. But what are you thinking? You know, you've started in the past. Now you're one of those guys that's six man coming in there. What is your philosophy coming off the Bulldog bench? Uh, just bringing energy every game. I mean, that's one thing that you can control every single game. Bring energy, um, get the guys in the flow, whether anywhere I can pick up. That I, I mean, I'm sitting on the bench, so I'm watching, you know, the first four or five minutes of the game. So. If I see something, uh, I'll try to come in and, and bring what we need to the team and uh, help us out any way I can. And with Guerrero in foul trouble, there was a few more minutes to go around, so there was a heavier responsibility for you. Uh, yeah, tonight I had to play the point a little bit. I mean, I played it all last year, so it's not like it's something new to me. Um, so I'm, it, that just goes to show our, our team, uh, like Coach just said, our chemistry and our flexibility with the guys that we have on our team, a number of guys can play different positions. So I think that's key for us, just in case uh, things happen like tonight, someone gets in foul trouble. Did you get banged up at all, flying off the floor? I mean, <laughs> you dove out of bounds in that corner. I don't know where your head landed. What, what happened there? Um, it, was, I just, it was a loose ball. And uh, Coach, like, like you said, Coach has been preaching 50-50 balls all week, um, all year since he's been here. And that's something that we hang our hat on every night knowing that we're going to beat each team in the, in the 50-50 category and still, still in extra, extra possession. So um, that I just saw it as an opportunity to have an extra possession, and I just went for it. Alan, do you know who's next on the schedule? Uh, yeah, I know who's next on the schedule. It should be. Are you uh, thinking about that a lot? It's UOP or Polo Home. Yeah, I, I haven't been thinking about it too much. We, we try to you know stay focused on the game that we have at hand, but I guess it is now here. So uh, we'll enjoy this win tonight and prepare for Pacific uh, come tomorrow. Oh, it's been great. I mean, <clears throat> uh, the start of the year, we said to Allen, you're going to play starter minutes, but we need you to come off the bench for us. Uh, we need to have a spark off the bench in terms of having a guy that experienced, that can score the basketball, and that can come in and really we not have a drop off when we sub. And he's done a great job of being that kind of guy for us. He's accepted that role and, and has been terrific doing it. Oh, I mean, you know what, uh, it was another opportunity for Emmanuel to come in and, and have a chance to, to man that position. And we're very confident in, in his, his skill set and what he's able to do right now. And uh, he's a guy that, that has the tools to, to, to man that position up now. And, um, you know, I talked to my young guys earlier, too, as, as, as well. You know, um, what you do in practice is, is a direct correlation to how you, how you compete. And right now, we're asking all of our freshmen to be sophomores, not to be freshmen for us, not to practice like freshmen, not to play like freshmen. We need them to play like sophomores right now. And, uh, you know, they're averaging double figure minutes between the three of them. And, uh, you know, they're a big part of our team and what we're doing for this year. Coach, what do you plan on getting Tanner Gaines back in action? You know what, uh, we're, we're taking it real slow with Tanner in terms of we don't want to put him back out there until he's 100%. And our training staff, Kyle Burnett, is doing a great job. Uh, rehabbing him right now and keeping him on pace in terms of uh, uh, of his recovery right now. But uh, hopefully sooner than later. Um, you know, we don't really want to put a timetable out and say we're going to have him back at this particular date. But uh, we think we're getting closer. We're getting closer. That thing's healing in the right way. And we're, we're, we're going to take it real slow with him because Tanner's a key guy, not only for this year, but also in our program over the years. Thank you.